Hey everyone, <clears throat> it is, what is it? It's April, I don't know, it's Sunday in April, <laughs> second my Sunday maybe, the Sunday after Easter, uh, I don't know the date, I think Friday is the 13th, so this must be like the 9th or 10th, somewhere around there. Um, it's been a while since my last update, so I thought I'd give you a couple of um, items to think about. Winter has returned to Texas, and um, it's kind of cold outside, so I'm wearing, wearing a warm shirt for when we go out later. Um, a couple of things. So I had TMJ this morning for the first time. I took a ibuprofen in it went away right away so no big deal but um i haven't had that since i had the procedure i had the procedure january 19th just as a reminder um she'll have my attempts in for another couple of months um i discovered that i can drink my beloved tea if i put milk in it i read that um that the tannins in tea um, don't stain if you put milk in it. It's got to be real milk, though. And I'm happy to report that uh, so far I haven't noticed any staining, which before I noticed staining almost immediately without uh, milk. But now I'm back to drinking tea hot uh, with milk in it. I'm using evaporated milk, so I'm drinking it um, Hong Kong style, which is my favorite hot tea. I love hot tea uh, in Hong Kong. So um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, on this one right here, the front one, um, I've noticed a, kind of a disturbing smell, and I clean my teeth obsessively. I water pick 50 times a day. I mean, like, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. I water pick constantly. And um, I, I have, I bought a brush that's got these really long um, bristles that are real fine. And it's soft enough to where I can, I set the brush on top of here. And the bristles go down into the, um, the bridge and or the hybrid whatever you want to call it some people get irritated when you call it a bridge i call it an appliance because it reminds me of when i had braces but and retainers um and now every once in a while when i water pick it'll hit that implant and there's a, a bad smell so tomorrow i'm going to go into uh my dentist uh rich radiance dentistry in irving texas and get him to look at that because I don't believe it is the appliance. I believe it is a pocket or something that is formed around that implant because it doesn't do it if I don't touch the implant with the water stream. As soon as I hit that implant with that water stream, that's when I get that smell. Um, and it's not every time. So I just hope he can fix it because it bothers me. Uh, that there's, I mean, it literally, I, I promise you, it smells like sewage, like, um, like sewage, like in a sink, like from the drain. It's weird. And, um, when I call, I emailed him, uh, directly, he told me that it was probably just food, a pot, some, somewhere where the food is having a hard time getting out. So I don't know if he can fix it. I hope he can, if it's, if it's around the implant, um, that concerns me a little bit. Um, really irritated with how much I have to clean these things and how uncomfortable it is after I eat if I don't get to clean them right away. Because um, so much food gets trapped underneath them. Uh, I hope that that is not a forever thing. I mean, if it is, I'll just have to deal with it, right? Because it it's it's done. <laughs> So, uh, but honestly, I'm playing around with the thought of clip-in or whatever, snap-in, because at least if they're snap-in, I can take them out and clean underneath it without so much freaking hassle 
um, of the water pick. I mean, I, I have to spend about five minutes every time I eat something. And so um, tomorrow when he takes them off, I'm going to clean them really good. Uh, he's, I'm going to ask him to clean them, and then I'm going to clean them before they put them back in. Um, I don't think they're really very dirty because I'm obsessive about keeping them clean. But um, while they're off, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them all clean. And he's also going to uh, uh, inspect them for any fractures or anything like that while they're off because I'm going to Asia for a, a long trip. And I don't want to get in China and have my appliance break. And uh, that would suck. Uh, and I've ordered a cordless water pick for the flight because I'll be in a plane for like 22 hours um, in a couple of weeks. So I don't want to have to not have the water pick. And I can't remember if there's an electric outlet in the bathroom. Um, I want to say that there is. Maybe that's business class though and I'm flying coach. So um, I, I need, if I had a plug, I would take my portable my nano water pick um, because I, I the reviews on these cordless ones aren't very good so um, I went ahead and, and bought one and we'll see if it works um, for very long I don't know I gotta have it though um, and then of course there is the obsession about power supply in Asia um, I'll be in China for a good portion of the trip and I am not, I have a converter, not an adapter, a converter, and I'm hoping that it works because if it doesn't work, I'm going to friggin' freak out if I can't water pick. <laughs> and once I go to Thailand, I believe my hotel runs on the same voltage as, as Texas, so I'll be able to just plug in there. Um, often they even have the same prongs as we do, so... Um, I'll be ready, but I will have that heavy ass adapter that I'll be using if, if worst case, you know, scenario. Um, anything else? Uh, I don't think so. No pain, no nothing. It's mo mostly the hassle is cleaning them, right? It's, it's just a hassle. And, um, but they look so much better than my old teeth. It's maybe a trade-off, right? My concern is that if I can't keep this front implant clean, that I could end up having some sort of infection. So that's a concern. Um, but if I have to keep cleaning my teeth like this for them to look good, well, whatever, right? It, it, they look they look good. Uh, when I smile, they I I feel confident with uh, my teeth for the first time in many years. So. Um, that's a good trade-off, I think, um, the hassle for confidence, right? Um, my lisp is getting better, and it, it'll continue to improve. It's only been, what, uh, February, March. It's, it's only been like 10 weeks since I had the procedure, so the, the, uh, it'll, it'll get better, um, as we go, and, um, uh, yeah, I'd, I still think it's worth it, as long as I don't have sewer breath. If I have sewer breath, that will be a problem. And um, that'll be why I would go to a, I would request the snap-in, right? I mean, the only good thing about a snap-in would be that I could take it out every day and clean it really good. Um, but I really don't want to snap-in because they're bigger. But they would look like these. Um, I believe the snap-in is pretty much like this. But I think that the eating is better on the permanent ones. I think it's better. Um, but maybe they're fitted okay. So we'll see what he says tomorrow. I'm sure that, you know, I'm ex I'm, I'm imagining the worst with that, that tooth, that one there. Um, I don't... I think the TMJ was caused maybe by... Um, the temps are, are not fitted as good as the permanents will be. This side's a little higher when I buy it. And I might have clenched my teeth last night when I slept or something. But that's the first time. And it didn't hurt really bad. It just felt achy 
Um, and the ibuprofen took care of it right away. Um, nothing else. Let's see. I don't, I don't think I have any other updates. I'm eating pretty much what I want. Can't eat bacon unless it's soft. Um, but I haven't cracked or broke anything that I know of and I haven't chipped anything. So, um, and I feel like I'm able to clean them really good. So with that new brush, there's a brush on the market. It's Colgate, I think, and it's got these really long bristles that are super good. And um, it, it feels good. It gets underneath the, the appliance and brushes behind it. No problem at all, and it doesn't hurt or anything. So um, I think that that uh, is an absolute must-have. And if I were Colgate, I would make one with even longer. I, I would make a kit for people getting this done. And because they, there's lots of things that you could use that would be really cool and they could promote their own products. Um, a kit for people getting, um, getting fixed appliances of any kind, bridges or whatever, it would be great if they would have a um, focus group of people that are having these appliances and um, I would buy it. And why, I mean, like you'll, anybody who has bridge work or anything that's hard to get under, um, I got, I got ideas, <laughs> but I have no, uh, desire to, 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 you know, be an inventor. My sister's like an inventor and, and, uh, it's way too much work for me. I don't, I don't want to do that. But Colgate, if you're listening, I got ideas. And so does everybody else that's had this process because it's hard to find products designed to uh, to really um, to really get everything clean. So that's it. It's a um, you have a great week. Sunday here, so it's uh, cold outside, but I'm about to go to an art show anyway. So talk to you later. Have a great week. Bye.